Good morning. This video is for the English exam review for semester one. First, we have a text. Let's start reading the text. Flip can play. This is the title. This is flip. Flip can jump. Flip can tag. Flip tags the kids. Flip is fun. Flip is too big. He can not go in. Flip does not fit. Flip digs very fast. Can he make it? Now Flip can play. Now we have these questions. We need to answer numbers 1 to 8 and circle the correct answer according to the story Flip can play. Question number 1. What does Flip do first? A. Dig B. Tag or C. Jump Now, if you don't remember, you have to go to the beginning of the story and read it again. In the story, they say, Flip can jump. So, this is what Flip can do first. So, now we have to circle the correct answer. You can circle only the letter C or you can circle the whole answer. Both of them are correct. Question number two. Why does Flip dig? Is it A. He cannot tag? Or B. He cannot jump? Or C. He cannot get in? Now, if you remember that Flip can jump. So why does he dig? Because he cannot get in. This is C. Number three. Look at the picture three. Where is Flip? Is he down or out or in? Again, in order to answer, you have to go to picture three and look. In picture three, they show us a flip outside. So the answer is out. Number four. After a flip digs, he can. Is it A, run? Is it B, tag? Or is it C, play? If you remember, or you can go back to the text, you will find out that after a flip digs, he come in so he can play. The answer is C, play. Number five. Which word comes first in ABC order? Is it go? Start letter G or B, big or C, can. In order to remember, you can write the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. In A, B, C order, G is the last, so A is not the answer. We have big and we have can. The first letter of big is B and the first letter of can is C. Now, which comes first, B or C? It is B. So, the answer is big. Number six. Flip has up. Is it A, up or B, fun or C, good? The answer is 
be fun. Flip has fun. Now, number seven. Flip can. What is it? A. Move. Or B. Good. Or C. Does. Which one here makes sense? Of course, it is A. Flip can move. Now we have to list two things flip can do. If you go back to the text, you can read again and just copy the sentences. I'm going to choose the first two sentences. We start our sentence with capital letter and we write correctly between the lines. Flip can jump. This is only copying. Full stop. And the second one is flip can tag. This is the second sentence. Done. Next. In part B, we have high frequency words and vocabulary. First, you need to practice reading these words. And don't forget that you also have to know the meaning of these words. Does, not, school, what. Now, these are tricky words, but we use them a lot. That's why they are called high frequency words words. Let's continue. Down, up, out, very, be, come, good, pull, fun, make, they, to, jump, move, run, to. Number one. I can blank fast. Is it A, too fast? Or B, run fast? Or C, move fast? The right answer is B. I can run fast. Number two. Flip can. Is it A, jump? Or B, they, or C, school. Flip can, it's A, jump. And then write it here. Number three, they go, school. Is it two? Remember this one is number two. Is it two? It means also or is it this one too like when you go somewhere the answer is C they go to school I cannot write two number two or two as also school it doesn't make sense section C add the letter S to the end of the action word in each sentence. Sentence number one. She nap. Now, we, do you remember, we add S to the, to the subjects. She or he or it she nap is not correct we have to add s becomes she naps number two he bat we also have to add an s so it becomes he bats with s read each word choose the word that names the 
picture. Write the word on the line. Now, here I have two cats. When I have more than one, I add S to the word. So the right answer is cats. After I circle it, I write it down. Cats. Number two. Here I have a clip. Is it one clip or more than one clip? Oh, it's one clip. So this is the right answer. I write clip on the line. Read the sentence. Circle the word that end with the same two consonants. Means same two letters other than vowel letters, okay? <clears throat> Number one, cam will hit. Now, which one has same two consonants? It's the word will. Just circle it. Now this part, number four. Read the words in each row. Circle the two words that rhyme. Remember, words that rhyme, they have the same ending sound. Number one. Log. Pig, frog, let's read them again, log, pig, frog, which two words has the same ending sound? It's log and frog. Number two, I have fox, fox, bat, bat. Box, box. Which two words has the same ending sound? Which two words have the same ending sound? It's fox and box. D, phonics. Read the words, circle the word that names the picture. Here we have a picture of a map. Which word here is map? Is it A, can, B, fan, or C, map? That's the word I'm looking for, map. Number two, this is a picture of a pan. Now let's read. A, pan, B, fan, C, map. The word I'm looking for is A, pan. Number three, this is a picture of a hill. A, lid, B, pig, C, hill. The word I'm looking for is C. Now this part is called a lid. Let's start reading. Is it A, fin, B, lid, or C, hill? It is B, lid. Number two, look at the picture, read the words, circle the word that describes the picture. Here I have a group of kids that are or who are smiling. Let's start reading. Which word describes the picture? Is it A, is it this one, glad? Sad, bad. The right answer is glad because the glad means happy. Number two, I have a picture of a cat. Let's read the words clam, back, black. The best word that describes my picture is black because I have a black cat. Next. Number three, look at the picture, 
read the words, circle the word that names the picture, then write the word. Now here I have mop, map. This is short A, this is short O. Mop, map. Now the picture shows a mop and not a map. So I write here mop. And I should circle it first. Number two, I have a picture and I have the words bat block. Now this picture is not a bat, it is a block. And then I write block on the line. Next, grammar. These sentences are written incorrectly. We write each sentence correctly. Let's look at the first sentence. Number one. The cat eats. If I look at this sentence, the words are in correct order. What is the mistake in this sentence? We know that we should start with a capital letter. So I copy it here in the right way. The cat eats. And do not forget the full stop because you may lose marks. Second sentence. Cat plays the. This sentence doesn't make sense. The words are not in the right order. We should have the one we're talking about the cat in the beginning followed by the action word plays next number three the cat tags the mouse these words are in the correct order what's missing is the capital letter here and the full stop here. So let's write it down. The cat tags the mouse. Full stop. Number four, the naps cat. These words are not in correct order. We have to put the one we're talking about in the beginning. We're talking about the cat. And then we should write the action word naps. And never forget the full stop at the end. Number two, put a question mark or an exclamation mark at the end of each sentence. Sentence number one. Wow! John can kick. The word wow is the key for our sentence. Wow shows strong feelings. Sentences that, shows, that show strong feelings usually end up, end up with an exclamation mark. Number two, did they go? In this sentence, I'm asking a question, so I should put question mark. Number three, what can Sam do? In this sentence, I'm also asking a question, so I should put question mark. Number four, oops, Sam ran. Also here, oops, is a key word that shows strong feelings. Sentences with strong feelings should end with an exclamation mark. Now here you have to draw a picture of yourself. Now we are in the writing section, the last section. Number two, answer the following questions to tell us more about yourself. Question number one, what is your name? You don't have to say my name is, 
we say I am Maria. Of course, each one will write his own name. And the name starts with capital letter, even if it's not at the beginning of the sentence. Never forget the full stop. Number two, what is your favorite food? You don't have to say my favorite food is. Just write, I like. What do you like? For example, pizza or cake. Number three, what is your favorite subject? Now, for me, I like English. I like English also should be written in capital letter. And full stop. That's it. Now, good luck. Study well. And this is a happy face for you.